Welcome to another episode of Big Lee's Corner. Alright, this time around, making my predictions to NASCAR Monster Cup race in Vegas, aka the playoffs. However, for those of you that see seen my rants and announcements channel, I did talk about drawing numbers from a hat in between me and K-Dog on who to determine on who gets this cardboard belt, the, the paperweight belt. Unfortunately, due to a lot of controversy going on, uh, I'm going to have to hold that off till a later date. So either this week or next week, we'll do that drawing. Names, numbers from the hat, huh? It's just I'm unable to do it this weekend before the Vegas race. So just to get that out of the way. But anyway, first of all, the race itself. I'm predicting Clint Boyer is going to win it. K Dog's picking Kevin Harvick. I'm going to pick Clint Boyer. All right. Now, usually on the playoffs, usually I have the die cast out uh, making my predictions, and I'm going to put all this on one video. But anyway, my playoff predictions, the bottom four, the cutoffs on who I think going to be eliminated in what order. Well, not what order. Any order for that matter. But anyway, first round, I see... Now, I'm going to get criticized for this one, and... I could care less. And by the way, it ain't wishful thinking or otherwise I'll put number nine at the bottom too, but I'm not. Okay. Oh, excuse that. Something going on with the computer. Now, to get to the point. First of all, I'm betting on Jimmy Johnson. Like I said, Jimmy Johnson going to be eliminated in the first round. Also going to guess Kurt Busch. But anyway... Before anyone criticizing me on Johnson, look at his season. See, the Chevys aren't doing good this year. In fact, Chase and Austin are the only two with a win, if I remember correct. I don't remember if Larson's got a win or not. So, Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney. I hate to put him at the bottom of the bottom four, but uh, he's still learning, so I'm going to put him at the bottom four. And Alex Bowman. You know, last year, I'd be happy to put the 88 in the bottom four. Well, the 88 didn't even make the chase last year. Two years ago, I'd be all happy to put the 88 in the bottom four. But this time, I'm not too fond of it. He's the Hendrick driver I'll cheer for. He's like the new number five of the team. The underrated member. Round two. And a lot of you are going to say WTF to this one. Why would I put this guy down in the bottom he made the final four for the last three years. But, yep, I'm putting him in on this one round. Putting him to be eliminated in the third round. Just because he's one of the big three doesn't mean he's going to make the final four. That is Kyle Busch, the 2015 champion. And then, I myself hate to put this guy in the third elimination. But, the number three himself, Austin Dillon. And a guy that nearly got the captured Daytona 500 but got spun out by the winner. Number 10, Eric Amarella. And another Joe Gibbs a veteran, Denny Hamlin. That's my second round elimination prediction. Third round. Okay. Chase Elliott. Brad Kozlowski. Eric Jones and Clint Boyer will all get eliminated in the third round. And finally, Homestead itself. My predictions in this order. Originally at the beginning of the season, I was predicting Kyle Larson was going to win the championship itself. But watching them this season, I'd probably say maybe not this season. So I say we're going to have a repeat champion pretty much. Now, the only question is, which one do I really feel comfortable to say? So, what I'm going to say is, fourth through first, Kyle Larson coming in fourth, Joey Logano coming in third. I hope I'm wrong that he'll come in first for a change. Kyle Larson himself, no wait, I already said he was fourth, never mind. Martin Truex Jr., second, and uh, 2018 champion, 
For the second time since 2014, the first man to win the playoff and grid and tournament chase, Kevin Harvick, will be the champion this year. Anyway, that's my predictions for this uh, playoffs. That's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. I'll try to have a nice day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.